SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we are speed testing. Uh, this particular video, we're going to be speed testing the Verizon Network 5G Ultra Wideband. And we've got a pretty, pretty newly modernized site. I don't think it's newly constructed, but it's it's been modernized recently. Let's check out the performances. We're connected to the N77, the C-band, 3700 frequency, 160 megahertz of bandwidth on this site here in the CLE market. And we're not far. We're, you know, direct line of sight here. I'm just, I'm actually at this, uh, this local thing and I'm in chill mode in the parking lot and it's snowy and cold, so I don't, I'm not getting out of the car, but, uh, you know how it is Cleveland in December, uh, 793 on the downlink 55 on the uplink. We got a 36 for the unloaded ping 530 and 157 on the loaded download and upload jitter at four milliseconds. All right, we're about 8 p.m. in the evening here. Let's go ahead and do another test. I always recommend doing at least, you know, two or three tests. Make sure you're getting accurate results. You know, sometimes you'll see some different throughput results and stuff like that. So you just want to give it a give it a second go. And, uh, you know, some of the things I want to share with you guys, you know, we got the root metrics reports and said that Verizon had a median download speed of like 130 megabits. I, oh my God, I can't tell you guys how different <laughs> my testing has been across this entire county the city the surrounding suburbs i just it, it just there's just no way <laughs> uh they're more trusted than me obviously they're 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 paid to do their testing but whatever uh 865 down 62 up got a 24 ping uh for the unloaded and then 478 and 155 for the loaded latencies download and upload and then jitters at five milliseconds all right, we started with a fresh connection. Might have been wise to do that before I started making the content and hitting record. Uh, do we have the 5G Ultra Wideband logo? Not yet. Okay, there we go. Just kicked in. And we're off to the races. 800, 900. Going to break a gigabit per second? We do. Yeah, sometimes I guess it's good with the iPhones to just give it a fresh airplane mode and new connection or whatever all right so we got a thousand forty nine on the megabits for downlink and we're in the 90s i don't think we're going to break the century mark 96 megabits uplink 37 for the unloaded latencies loaded latencies looks like 375 and 149 download and upload and jitter at seven milliseconds we'll just do one more because why the hell not you guys see all that snow in the background? Some serious snow coming down these days and it's freezing too. It's like, what is it, like 18 degrees? Oh my goodness. It's cold too, snowy and cold. All right, we crack gigabit per second again. Yep, so we got a 10 gig fiber circuit. You got CBRS, you got C-band. Got all types of throughput. So the thing around here, uh, as, as we wrap up this test, 1047 megabits 125 on the uplink unloaded latency at 24 loaded latency is 380 and 77 downlink uplink and then jitter at three milliseconds so around here guys they don't really do the 5g home internet uh they they could i guess if folks were interested you guys see they got plenty of throughput but um i don't i don't, I don't think they're gonna take to it there's a lot of uh, a lot of fiber laid out here for at&t and you got cox also i think available here if not, I think it's Spectrum. I do see Spectrum trucks out here. So uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to monetize this speed, this capacity, but really good mobility throughput. Uh, tell me what you guys think of that testing, and what are you seeing from the Ryzen 5G Ultra Wideband? Uh, comment down below. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, be looking forward to your comments down in the comment section. See you guys in the next one. Peace.